Charlie Klein is executive director of, now you got to say it, Charlie, because you got a long title. <laughs> yeah, there. it's Global CO2 Strategy, Mass, and Aerodynamics. You're one of the speakers here at the Center for Automotive Research, the management mm -hmm. briefing seminars. Yeah. What's the message that you're bringing to the audience? Yeah, I am. I'll be uh, speaking this afternoon, and the key topic is lightweighting, and we've made a number of advancements in lightweighting, and we're going to talk about the major pillars that have allowed us to make such great progress in the area of lightweighting. And let's touch on those pillars. Yeah, there's several. I, and the one that I really like to talk about is culture. And uh, when I say culture, it, it's really this ingrained desire from our engineers, really top to bottom, to find the, the most efficient solutions. And we saw that blossom from really our ATS project, and we had a chief Cadillac ATS, Cadillac ATS, and we had a chief engineer who was particularly passionate, and he used the phrase, "Every engineer, every part, every gram," and it drove this cultural desire to find great efficiency. And so. That is really one of the important pillars is when you get every engineer lined up and, and really passionately driving their components, you get great results. What else? Well, the other pillars are, are technical pillars and, and optimization and the use of CAE and advanced simulation methods has been a real advantage for us. Uh, by applying computational math, we're able to model components and then run constrained simulations. In other words, find solutions that meet specific requirements. Good examples are it has to meet our safety requirements, our stiffness requirements, and, uh, and, and other requirements, yet find the most efficient solution. And by using computational simulation, we're able to find answers that we couldn't otherwise do manually just because of the power of the computations. Mm -hmm. Another pillar out there? Yeah, other pillars that we have is mixed materials, and you'll see that on the CT6. We actually brought a cutaway with us, and it demonstrates that we have used a mixed material strategy, picking the right material in the right spot for the right application. Uh, it has 11 different materials and grades across the CT6, and as a result, we got a larger, uh, more luxurious, stiffer body uh, than our competition while being lighter overall. You know, I'm very impressed by the CT6. I'm also impressed by the XT5 mm -hmm. Cadillac. Mm -hmm. All steel, it's not mixed materials, and yet you pulled, what, 300 pounds out of it. Yeah, it, you'll see this recurring theme that we've pulled hundreds of pounds out of our next generations of vehicles by the application of things like mixed materials, uh, by advanced joining methods, which is also a really exciting uh, development, as well as our optimization methods. W when you look at what we've done in taking the XT5 as an example and taking hundreds of pounds out, uh, steel, advancements in steels and materials, the press hardened steels, advanced press hardened steels, continue to advance, so it gives us more tools in our toolbox to be able to apply. When you talk advanced joining methods, I'm, I'm guessing you're talking structural adhesives as well as some of the new welding, aluminum welding techniques you have? Yeah, we, um, we use structural adhesive extensively. I think, I, I think more aggressively than any other automaker. Oh, I don't know right? how you quantify it, but that, that's my impression. Well, I mean, you'll see when we talk later today that we have about 296 meters of structural adhesive on the CT6 as an example. But there's other exciting advanced joining methods and they enable a, a wide range of opportunities for us. I mean, one of the important things is it also reduces your manufacturing and capital costs. So mm -hmm. transitioning mm -hmm. to new materials is a really big advantage. But a couple that, that we really like to center on is uh, GM has a patented solution to aluminum spot welding. And uh, we use that extensively on the CT6. But we also have another major announcement that we're going to make today about another advancement on advanced joining. You can't tell us now because we'll run this after you make your speech. <laughs> well, I guess we, we uh, over the last several months have been running plant trials of aluminum to steel spot welding. And we have completed those trials and began production of that in our Detroit Hamtramck facility just several weeks ago. Wow. It is a, a GM patented process which is really exciting and uh, we are the first automaker to apply this in production, so uh, we're very proud of that. How do you prevent that. galvanic corrosion, putting steel and aluminum together? Well, it was developed by our research and development team based in Warren in cooperation with manufacturing, engineering, and, and our body team, and they have looked at how to best manage those, uh, I'd say, outcomes, and uh, have successfully found the right formula. Very interesting. Very f interesting discussion, especially your first point that it comes down to culture. I've never heard anybody bring up culture in terms of lightweighting. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is something that at least I like to highlight because 
when you harness the, the technical ability of, of any large organization, and we have a tremendously talented a set of people in an organization, when you get them focused on the right metrics and, and have real passion around it, your results follow. So we often talk about technology as being a great enabler, but it's the people that ultimately drive the solutions. It really is. Charlie Klein, thanks so much for your, uh, your time today and for giving, giving us a little bit of news there as Good. well. A pleasure to talk to you, thanks. Good. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. Working together, scientists and racing technicians study the impact of new lightweight materials. We look back and learn, so we understand a little better what's on the road ahead. This is the human element at work, Dow.